Well, how are y'all doing today? I hope y'all have had a blessed day. So this is what I'm doing. Um, I bought me some yeasty rolls because with my Thanksgiving dinner, I do like a nice fluffy yeasty roll, okay? But uh, the ones I normally get are not frozen or refrigerated, and they get nice and fluffy, but I couldn't find them here in Arkansas. So I got these, which were frozen. And they're more like a brioche bun, if you ask me. Which is, you know, they don't raise much, but they are good and hearty. So I've decided to use them for this, to make some mini pizzas. And what I did was I mixed some pesto with some, uh, you know, tomato sauce. And spread a little bit of that on there. Put down a layer of cheese. And then I cut up my pepperoni, because I don't want a big old piece of pepperoni on there. Because when I go to, you know, take a bite, it, it may pull all the toppings off all at once. So I cut them up. Then I put some garlic powder, onion powder on there. It's a little bit of more cheese. And on some of them I put uh, banana ring peppers on there. You can use jalapenos sliced. And then some uh, oregano because toasted oregano is really good. And that's the, uh, you know, the final product right there. And they do make a, a good appetizer at a party. It's a little bit something more heartier, you know, for your guest. And it's very inexpensive to make. Now, you can add all kinds of toppings. You can add uh, green peppers and onions and sausage and even if you want uh, anchovies on a few. But I highly suggest that you cook them first. Because uh, these don't go in the oven very long and it's not going to be in there long enough to cook them toppings. So you need to cook your toppings first. And uh, over here I got me a goodie jar. Uh, that's where I got my banana ring peppers from. And uh, I stuffed some cherry peppers with feta cheese and spices the other day as an appetizer. And the ones that were too small and I couldn't work with, I put them in this jar. Also, uh, the cucumber that went into my salad for the holiday, I took some and put it in there. Now, my mom used to do that all the time, okay? And I have picked up some uh, Red Hots to pickle, but I'm not going to go through the trouble with them because I have cooked them already every way they can possibly be cooked. I have boiled them, I have baked them, I have fried them. And there ain't no way I'm getting that casing, that red casing on there tender. So I will be pulling them off. Now whenever you go to pickle a sausage, and unless you're going to cook that sausage, you need to get a fully cooked sausage. So I will be cutting the ones that I have left up and popping them in this jar. And I do have more oil and vinegar and spices to add to it and stuff like that. But no, I'm not going to go through the, the trouble of canning them because they just ain't going to get tender. And a lot of people do take the casings off of uh, anything that they use, any kind of sausage or and, unless it's hot dogs, um, they take the casings off. So that's the finished product and it makes a good holiday appetizer if you're having guests and stuff like that. And it's very festive looking and it does taste good. It really does. Now when my kids were little, um, we couldn't afford a pizza. Uh, Little Caesars didn't have their $5 pizza then. I think in most places it's up around $7 now. We didn't even have a TV. So on Friday nights I would make English muffin pizzas. And we'd sit around and talk. That's right, people. We talked. And we did crafts together. Uh, my children are very artistic and uh, it's because we spent that time together. We weren't in front of a TV. So anyway, uh, this is an ideal as an appetizer for a party. If you're going to have one, have some guests over. It's a little bit something more hearty for them and stuff. And it does taste good. It really does. All right. We all have a blessed night. Bye-bye.